What's up Charisma Crew? This is your captain speaking. We're officially in the last month of 2023 and we're about to receive a massive update to Halo Infinite, so let's not waste any more time and break it all down. The star of the show for the December update is going to be Firefight King of the Hill, something that is familiar, yet new and fresh. Firefight King of the Hill will see you and three other players facing off against waves of banished baddies as you fight to capture hills on 9 maps when the playlist goes live, including the House of Reckoning from Halo Infinite's campaign and three community made maps. We'll have a full detailed blog on Firefight King of the Hill going live on December 4th ahead of its in-game debut the following day. Nine maps right from the start is pretty impressive honestly. I was expecting way fewer maps. Fans of PvE are definitely gonna love this one. Up next is the repair field. You may have seen leaks on this on social media but for those of you who haven't, it's gonna be similar to the regenerator in Halo 3 or the regeneration field from Halo 4 but even better. Similar to the regenerator from Halo 3, the repair field is a neutral piece of equipment that heals allies and enemies within its radius. It's also capable of repairing vehicles and it can be attached to them, as well as most environmental surfaces. Additionally, the repair field can also revive downed Spartans in select modes such as Firefight, King of the Hill, Attrition, etc. You see what I mean? It's definitely an evolution of its original iteration. Boy, that was a mouthful. For all the ranked grinders, there will also be some fine tuning to the ranked experience in this upcoming update, specifically when it comes to ranked extraction and CSR. First, let's talk about ranked extraction. At the moment, you can hear your extraction point being converted by the enemy team from anywhere on the map. This meant that players were able to leave the area around the extraction device and use the global audio cue to tell them when to peek back out. With this upcoming audio change, the device itself will emit the audio, meaning that you'll have to be in close vicinity to hear here it's being converted. As a result, teams will need to pay closer attention to the extraction device. Right now, you can see in your UI when the extraction point is being converted. Similar to above, this allowed players to leave the area near the extraction device and only peek out when the UI showed it was being converted. With our upcoming change, this will go away almost entirely. The UI will no longer indicate to you when the extraction point is actively being converted and it will also no longer indicate to you how much time is remaining. Man, this will certainly increase the skill gap. I'm also personally glad that this wasn't tampered with in socials. Anyways, next let's look at how CSR is being improved upon. There are some further improvements also coming to rank loss protection and teammate quitting. Once you rank up a tier, you will get 3 games, win or lose, before a loss will rank you down to the previous tier. Additionally, if a player in the match who is not on your fire team quits, you will not lose CSR if you decide to quit as well. The rank loss protection is actually a pretty interesting addition. I hear plenty of ranked players giving negative feedback about how unrewarding playing ranked is in Halo Infinite, with how slow you rank up and how quickly you rank down. I think this can certainly alleviate some of that. Let's turn our attention to Forge now. Forge continues to breathe new life into the game now with Forgeable AI. There's quite a bit to unpack here, and quite frankly most of it goes over my head, but there are two major updates that you should know about. The first is bosses and high value targets from the campaign being added into Forge. In Halo Infinite's campaign, there are various boss enemies that can be encountered on Zeta Halo, such as high value targets that can be hunted down with each rewarding Master Chief with a powerful special weapon variant. All 15 of these high value targets will be added into Forge with the December update. Major bosses are also included in this lineup as well, such as Jager Domni, Eshram, and the Harbinger. The potential for what the creative cartographers in the community are going to make is truly endless. The second major update to Forge is the addition of Skulls. With Firefight King of the Hill on the way, enabling Skulls to modify difficulty is a notable part of the experience. With this update, Forges will be able to use the node graph to enable or disable any of the 12 Skulls from Bandana to Black Eye. Notably, Skulls are not just limited to Firefight game variants. These difficulty modifiers will work in any game mode, allowing creators to use them to spice up ordinary multiplayer matches or extend their Season 5 PvE experiences. Can you imagine how skulls will affect regular PvP game modes? It's gonna be crazy. The custom game browser will also see some much needed improvements. One of the most annoying things when it came to the custom game browser is how your fire team would be constantly disbanded. But now, it looks like we're finally gonna get that fixed. As long as there are enough slots available, the fire team leader can bring their entire party into a CGB session. Upon joining the session, all members of your fire team will join together and merge into the custom game leader's fire team. 
While working on this, the team also made sure that it was enabled for lobbies. If you're playing with a friend and want to join another friend's lobby, you can choose Join with Fireteam and bring your entire Fireteam into the matchmaking or custom game lobby. And then, the first major step towards what we've all been waiting for since launch, stability and networking updates. Along with all the additions and quality of life updates above, this update is also focused on increasing the game's stability by addressing crashes and improving our online experience via updates to our networking. Season 5 added more reporting information in the game, which helps us better detect when and why crashes happen. Using this data, the team has knocked out multiple crashes across PC and consoles, including the top crash on Xbox Series X and Series S devices. As for the improvements on networking, we've been working on a more comprehensive overhaul of the system. The first glimpse of this update networking model will land on December 5th with the December update. You'll be able to jump into the Firefight King of the Hill playlist and try out the new networking model in a safe environment. Enabling it in a PvE experience gives us a safe test bed to see how it behaves at scale before enabling it in a PvP mode, where the stakes would feel much higher for each player. Please be sure to dive in, blast the banish, and let us know how it feels in Firefight King of the Hill. If the results are promising, we'll look to host a PvP experience in the Battle Workshop in the future. And there you have it folks, all of this drops this Tuesday, December 5th. If you enjoyed the video, Superman punch that like button and subscribe for more Halo content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe to Captain Charisma.